actually, before we get out, uh, happy Wandering Wednesday. Happy Wandering Wednesday to you and to me. Happy Wandering Wednesday. I am Jeremy Carr, Jeremy Carr's World Blog, Jeremy Carr's Studio on Instagram. So today's a little bit of a special day. We're talking about something that I'm super excited about. We're talking about phishing scams. Do you not know what a phishing scam is? A phishing scam is simply uh, somebody portraying to be, you know, somebody else. Like, say, Apple. Say, Best Buy. Say, Wells Fargo. Somebody sending you crazy emails saying that you owe this money. Uh, like you need to pay into the IRS for this. It's just a it's a fraudulent scam is all it is a phishing scam uh, We're just going to talk about it today on how you can spot them before you become a victim and then uh, How and why these people send these to you and how they get you to foolishly do what they want you to do and then steal your identity. Uh, the crazy thing is, is everybody has dealt with them. You have dealt with them. I've dealt with them. Big, large businesses have dealt with them. There is some businesses have like, it's, they have $15 million of, of being a victim with just phishing scams. So this is very interesting. I'm very excited about it. So today uh, I got to go pick up some stuff for a future here soon. COVID-19 shoot that I'm going to be doing. I am booking them all up. So if you are doing any photo shoots, I am currently booking COVID-19 shoots. So if you want to DM me, comment me, email me, whichever you got to do, you got to do. So uh, let's go get this. Get the heck out of here. talking there I kind of got in trouble for filming and stuff so I got what I got just to go over one more tip here to how to spot like when these fools try to get you is one they're misspelling your freaking name so one like the, the biggest like call out for these phishing scams is when they spell your name wrong or have just like a lot of misspelling just in general so one way to avoid that is just literally carefully look over your email that you're being sent and see if there's any misspelling or if it's misspelled your name that's just one really quick little thing and sometimes they they do in this email will just like put you in like a rush feeling and then that way you don't even realize that you're just skipping over all this stuff that you would normally do anyway because they just put this fear behind you know trying to get you to call them or text them or or send them gift cards or whatever it is so uh Anyway, two things off of the list. We're going to go to the next store and uh, try to find the rest of the goodies. I really don't know if I'm going to be able to find all these things. Uh, okay, but uh, I'm at Walmart. Uh, anyway, let's talk a little bit more about phishing scams. One way that you can find out that it's a scam is it being an unknown sender, like there's just nothing. There's, there's 
nothing in there. There's no cinder, you don't know who it is, you don't know where it's coming from. So like first of all, bing bing bing, red flag. And then like and then most of them most of them do this stuff because it's literally the most cheapest and most strategic way of just doing this and just getting money. And that's why it's so common and the reason why we've all dealt with it. Uh, but anyway, let's see if we can find this. I'm looking for plastic clear, like plastic clear stuff like painters use, I don't know. So we're trying to find it, so. So yes, I have you in a freezer here at Lowe's, but that's okay. So uh, t talk a little bit more about these phishing scammers. These guys will use and ask for personal information. So like that's how you know that like say for example they're claiming to be like Apple, some sort of brand loyalty that you're super into. These guys will ask for personal information. Okay, Apple or any company just doesn't just do that because it's privacy laws. So watch them and, mis and misspelling your name because that's the one giveaway good god so anyway by the way i don't think i'm gonna be able to find a mask so i'm really hoping that i can find one of those because that's really all i need and toilet paper but we'll see if i can actually find that because <sighs> the whole covid thing going on i don't know So, I don't think I'm going to be able to find the mask, so I'm almost pretty much just giving up on it because whew, since the whole coronavirus, you know, like it's just like go. Like I can't just find this thing. I just need to, I'm just looking for a mask. I don't know if it's going to end up pretty good. I do have a plan B, but right now it's not looking good. I just kind of want to talk about a little bit more about fishing is just remember how to avoid it is just like read over it carefully. Like if, you, if it's an email, just read over it carefully. Who is it from? search who that is if you're, if you're unfamiliar with the name like search who that is and you know and then like read the content read if there's any like weird links or like unusual uh, attachments or whatever like just stay clear of that kind of stuff okay i really don't know if i'm going to be able to find this mask holy crap all right let's go So made it back. So we're gonna see. I didn't get the mask, unfortunately. Oh, but my plan B. I'm hopefully, hopefully, my plan B really comes in. But uh, let's see what I got. All right, let's just throw this out. Throw that out. Okay, so I got all the rulers, all the rulers that I needed here. I got like like 90 of them. Uh, tape measure. Gonna need that. Uh, caution tape. Bonus. Picked it up anyway, and then this is a plastic drop cloth. This is going to be fun. And then here I got the fishing line. So I got basically everything I needed. I just needed the mask. Hopefully the other person I'm working with this on. Hopefully uh, they'll come through and look at the mask. Mm. Okay, well, uh, so that's all for the uh, Wandering Wednesday. Thank you for. Uh, being here. Thanks you for watching this video. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for your smiling faces at being all over the place. Uh, we're going to get out of here off the next video. My name is Jeremy Carr. Jeremy Carr's World Blog. Jeremy Carr's Studio on Instagram. See you again. How are you?